Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I want to uh, share a bit of a story and an experience um, that I had here a few weeks back that uh, I think you guys maybe could get some uh, benefit from. Um, first of all, I want to say cold is insidious. Cold will work its way into any little uh, nook or cranny or chink that you have in your clothing or shoes. Um, and it will chill you right down and in all actuality it can be a bad situation. Um, what I'm about to tell you here is going to sound a little bit on the comical side, uh, but if it would have been a real survival type situation and I didn't have the right stuff with me, it could have been, it could have been bad. Um, what I did was, is I was out uh, heading out in the woods and uh, I ripped the knee right out of my uh, pants. Caught it on something, ripped a big L-shaped rip in it and uh, yeah, nobody's got attractive knees and my knee was uh, hanging out and uh, if that would have been an actual survival situation and it would have got down below freezing that night and I didn't have any way to repair that rip in my uh, pants that would have been bad news. That cold would have got in there, it would have chilled that leg down, and in turn it would have chilled the rest of my body down and probably would have gave me hypothermia. And like I said, I might sound like I'm uh, you know, hitting the uh, chicken switch on that and I'm overreacting, but uh, it, uh, it has a way of chilling your entire body down. And I'll give you an example. Um, years and years ago, I was out deer hunting, and uh, it was in the teens. There was no snow on the ground, but it was probably 18, 19 degrees and uh, there was a northwest wind blowing. I was sitting in the uh, sitting in the stand and uh, my left foot was just freezing for some reason and I'm like man I got good boots on, I got good socks on, I got wool socks on, I got Gore-Tex boots with Thinsulate the whole nine yards. Couldn't figure out why that foot kept getting cold. And I did everything. I wiggled my toes and you know my boots weren't too tight or I didn't have you know my uh, my socks crammed, you know, two pairs of socks sometimes is bad because it'll cut the circulation off in your uh, foot when you cram that into your boot. You know, I had everything the way I was supposed to have it. That foot was just freezing. And I'm like, man, I couldn't figure out why. And after about five hours, I couldn't stand it no more. I, I went in. And when I got in and I took that boot off and I started to inspect it, there was a crack in the bottom of the sole where my foot pivoted and that was letting cold air into the bottom of my foot sitting up in that tree stand and it was chilling that foot down to the point where it was so uncomfortable I had to go in and if that would have continued I would have just kept getting colder and colder and colder so it's um, a good idea to have some way with you to repair clothing if you're out in a place where that clothing can get uh, tore up. Now there's something that I learned from watching Dave Canterbury years years ago already and that's keep a needle taped on the back of your fixed uh, blade knife sheaths and this is something that I've been doing quite a while. Let's see if I can't peel this back here and show you the needle underneath it. And this what I got here, this is the exact rig that I had with me that day when I ripped my knee out. You can see the needle hanging out there underneath that tape. It's just a real simple thing to put on the back of a knife sheath, but at this, at this particular time it had a real practical application and I took that uh, experience to actually repair my uh, pants that I was wearing. I took my knife and I cut a piece of the paracord that I was carrying off and I pulled one of the strands out. There are strands inside a paracord that you can separate and you can actually thread into a large eyed needle and I actually repaired those pants. Um, out there in the woods when I was out there. Sat down on a, a down tree and uh, I stitched the pants up and you can see here these are the pants that I was wearing that day. Now that ain't the best stitch job in the world but it was enough to close up that hole in my pants and uh, prevent the cold from coming in. And uh, if I didn't have that with me and it would have been an actual uh, survival situation I would have been in uh, trouble and I actually uh, wore these pants the rest of the day even though my wife laughed at me but uh, I wanted to see how well that my stitch job uh, held up and it actually did and I actually washed this pair of pants a couple of times just to see if uh, that stitch job would uh, hold up and it was just a whip stitch where I uh, kind of went around in a circle on the um, 
on the opening to uh, keep uh, to keep that closed. But uh, just a uh, just a practical experience, you know, carrying something so simple as a uh, needle taped on the back of a, a knife sheath and uh, separating some paracord so you got a little uh, thread to repair, you know, a piece of ripped clothing so that cold can't get in and uh, chill you down. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thought maybe you guys could get a little something out of that uh, story and my uh, my experience there. But uh, anyway, it's Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys get a little information, a little entertainment out of my video. And you guys have a good day.